Welcome to AppChasers.com. You know, recently the music scene has shifted from storing music on your device, whether it's your computer or your iPhone, to streaming it with a service such as Spotify. Now, Spotify does use a monthly rate, but I found that using Spotify is a great way to discover new music, and I find that it's worth the cost. But my question was, how do I get all my playlists that I created on iTunes into Spotify? I spent years developing playlists based on how I rated songs, as well as when I rated them, when I added them to my collection, and when the song was released. That way, I've developed a number of different playlists, such as my Best Of uh, 2014, Best Of 2013, Best of U2, Best of Coldplay, different playlists like that that I've spent a lot of time developing. And now I wanted to shift those over into Spotify. Well, there's an easy way to do that using an app right on the iPhone or the iPad. So I'll show you how to do that in this video. First of all, let me show you where the playlists were originally created in my iTunes library. So if I go here to uh, my music app, on the iPad, you can see I have a number of playlists that I've created here. Right now we're just looking at the ones that I have labeled uh, best added in two 2013 and best added in 2014. And if I tap on one of these, it'll show me all the songs that met the criteria, such as my highest rated songs and ones that I added to my library in 2014. Well now, I've started a Spotify account, and I want to bring those playlists over into that streaming service. The app that we're going to use to do that is called M2S. So you want to type in M2S in your uh, iTunes uh, App Store search. So we'll do that right now, M2S. And you see we've got M2S for Spotify coming up in the search results. Now, since we are using the iPad, it's not going to show up because it is an iPhone app. But if we tap here on the upper left where it says iPad only, we can say iPhone only, and now the app will show up. So we'll tap on that, and this shows us our app that we want, M2S for Spotify. And again, it is an iPhone only app, but you can run it on the iPad, which we're doing here in this demonstration. So let's open up the app and we'll show you uh, some of the options here. We've already downloaded it, so we'll just tap on the open button. And it brings up our uh, main screen here. Now the first thing you'll need to do is log into your Spotify account within this app so that it can see and transfer these playlists to your Spotify account. So you do that, it'll prompt you to do that when you first launch it, but you can also do that at any time uh, by just tapping on the settings button in the app itself. To get started we'll tap on the logo just as it instructs us here and it's going to scan our local uh, music library on your iPhone or iPad and it'll come up with your uh, different playlists that you have already created um, in your iTunes library. So let's tap on this one best added in 2014 and it's going to show us all the songs that are in that playlist. So I want to add all these songs. So we'll tap on Add All Songs. We'll hit Done. And now it's going to ask us which playlist we want to add these songs to in our Spotify account. So I have one created here that's called 2014 Best. You can also create a playlist by just tapping on the uh, plus icon in the upper right within M2S. Um, but I've found that it's best to create a playlist first in the Spotify app and that way it'll show up in this list and it'll easily transfer over. So let's go in here. We'll go into our Spotify app and create a playlist. So I'm going to go right over into Spotify. I'm already logged in here. I'm going to go into your music tab on the left hand side. And let's go to uh, create a playlist. So we'll go to Edit Playlists, Create New Playlist, and we'll just say Test from M2S. Now that's the app we're using. 
this is just a test to show you how it works. So we, here we've got our playlist here, and there's nothing in it right now. But we'll go over into the, um, well, first of all, let's close out of the uh, Spotify window here, just to make sure when we go back in, it refreshes our list. Let's go, now that we're back in M2S, let's see if we've got our new uh, playlist in here yet. Doesn't look like it's in there yet, so we'll go back, start over again. Best added in 2014, all songs. Hit done. And there's our right at the top test from M2S playlist that we created in Spotify. Tap that. It's going to ask us if we want to upgrade to faster syncing here, but we don't need to do that right now, so we'll say not now, and we'll say send. Now it's got 145 songs that it's sending to Spotify. So we'll let that finish. And then we'll go over into Spotify and see if these, at, these songs were added to our playlist that we just created. Okay, so the M2S uh, app has now finished. And it says it was successful sending all those songs over to Spotify. So let's check and make sure. So we'll go over, we'll get out of this M2S app, we'll go over into our Spotify app and uh, see if our new playlist has been populated with all these songs. All right, there we go. So we're in your music and you can see here we've got tests from M2S playlist and I can already see that it's got 108 songs already in it. So there they are. So now our songs are right over into our playlist. Now we did start with about 160 songs and it says that it now has in this playlist on Spotify 108 songs. So what happened? Well, there's some songs that just aren't available in Spotify's library. So those songs uh, weren't able to be matched. But this is an awesome way to get all of your um, iTunes playlists, uh, maybe even smart playlists that you've developed over the years when you were collecting music on your computer or on your iPhone, and transfer them over to this new streaming uh, lifestyle of listening to music. So that's how to bring all your playlists from uh, iTunes over into Spotify. This has been AppChasers.com.